Welcome back to the channel. There's a distribution I had never used. For one reason or another, I had always postponed installing it. It's a distro that was really popular years ago, but today seems to have slipped out of the Linux user mainstream. So I told myself, this is the perfect opportunity to go against the grain. Instead of installing Arch to gain total control, something I've already done, and which also managed to wreck my system. And it's not Arch's fault, to be clear. It's a true rolling release, and if you log in after months and update everything at once, it's normal for things to break. Or there's NixOS. These days everyone seems to be running NixOS with their mile-long configuration files. I decided to try something different. So look, I'll say it right away. This distribution is one of the best I've ever used. It shocked me, surprised me, in so many ways. Very often, in the Linux world, just like in real life, we build mental images that simply don't reflect reality. So let me give you a short introduction before diving into my total admiration for Void Linux in 2025. Let's start with this. Void is a project written completely from scratch. It doesn't derive from any other distribution. It doesn't use systemd. And for me, that alone is already a great reason to give it a try. It's a rolling release, and normally, that makes me skeptical, because I'm obsessed with stability. I'm a convinced Debian guy. Void offers both glibc and muscle builds, and uses XFCE as its default desktop. And now, let me say it loud, I've found the perfect rolling release distro. You heard that right, perfect. Because Void Linux is stable, not just rolling, but actually stable. And it has a maintenance system that's properly done. Sure, sometimes you have to wait a few hours for updates, but they're always tested and they always work. In one month of use, and we're talking heavy use, tweaking and breaking things on purpose, I even installed KDE, which I had to adapt to run it since KDE is heavily integrated with systemd, and Void never showed the slightest sign of instability. But there's a second thing that amazed me even more than the first, its simplicity and ease of use. While it's designed for advanced users, I'll say it clearly, it's not hard to use at all. Void is advanced, yes, it gives you full control, but it has one unique trait. It lets you do advanced things easily. Let's start with the installation. Compared to Arch, without Arch install, Gen2, Slackware, or Alpine Linux, Void offers a huge advantage. It has a real live CD, which lets you test your hardware beforehand. Once you launch the installer, graphical or terminal, I was honestly impressed. Everything is clear, solid, and well-structured. If you know what you're doing, it's hard to mess things up. The installer is really well built. I got it installed in 10 minutes, UEFI boot on the main drive, manual partitioning of an external SSD where I stuffed our beloved void. Everything works smoothly. You can choose which services to enable, set permissions. Everything is straightforward and error-proof. And once the system booted up, well, it used half the RAM compared to Debian with KDE Plasma. It's a beast. At first I thought I was just biased by the pleasant surprise, but after a month I can confidently say Void is faster, snappier, and more efficient than any other distro I've ever used on this machine. Sure, XFCE played its part, but even using XFCE on other distros, here it feels different. Void allows you deep configuration, starting with a truly minimal system where you install exactly what you want. The complete opposite of certain distros that give you the entire KDE ecosystem that you'll probably never use in your life. These are tenths of seconds that you can feel, giving an impression of power and speed. Never any hesitation, efficient management of resources and CPU. I was so impressed that I reinstalled it on my main hard drive and now use it as one of my primary systems alongside Debian. Now let's talk about what truly deserves praise, the package manager. Finally, logical, with complete clear and easy to learn documentation. No convoluted functions, no cryptic commands, just simple commands and the output is always clean, helpful and readable. I don't want to sound blasphemous, but it's nearly at Pac-Man's level. Sure, it's a bit more verbose, but I actually find it more logical, and it has an integrated template system for package creation. Of course, it's a smaller ecosystem, but, and I say this without hesitation, Void's packages seem better maintained than Arch's. And then comes the killer feature, differential updates. With XBPS install SU, only the necessary parts are downloaded. It's fast, lean, and smart. 
There are many other technical reasons I could go into, but I'll spare you the long list for this video. Let me just say this. XBPS may have a less flashy name, but it's on par with Pac-Man. It just doesn't have that mythical aura, that legendary status that makes Linux nerds' eyes sparkle. And maybe that's exactly the point. Void doesn't need to look legendary. It just works, and it works beautifully. Now let me close with a more technical reflection, essential to understanding why Void Linux works so well. Void follows what I'd call a conservative rolling approach. Unlike Arch, which pushes updates the moment they're released upstream, Void waits. It waits for packages to stabilize. It doesn't chase the bleeding edge. It prefers to test, verify, and then release. The result? More reliable updates, fewer breakages. And then there's Runit. Void doesn't use systemd, and that's not just an ideological choice. It's a technical one, with big consequences. Runit is simple, linear, robust, less code equals fewer bugs. The boot logic is predictable. Startup scripts are easy to debug. No weird sockets, no ambiguous units, no target chaos. Just daemons, run levels, and sanity. The Void team is small but extremely competent. Every package is reviewed manually. Void doesn't accept random pull requests. They don't pack in software just to pad out numbers. They prefer fewer packages but better maintained. The template system is strict and clean, a real mark of quality. XBPS comes with a test suite of over 200 automated cases, and it's growing. Every change is tested thoroughly before being released. Fewer breakage points, fewer surprises. There's no AUR, which means no wild, untrusted packages. The kernel is standard, no weird patches. The libraries? Stable glibs, not experimental bleeding edge stuff. The void repo is smaller than Arch's or Debian's, but way more curated. Each template is carefully written, often by hand. Void doesn't just port packages from other distros. Everything here is built for void, with void. And this is where the core philosophy comes in. Boring is good. Void doesn't want to impress you with fancy effects. Void wants to work. And it does. It's boring, in the most beautiful and reassuring sense. It does its job, always. In short, Void sacrifices a bit of bleeding edge to give you rock-solid stability, consistency, and control. So are you convinced? Maybe now you'll stop picturing that hoodie-wearing rebel hacker in a dark room when you think of Void Linux. Because Void isn't some edgy underground toy. It's a distro with guts. A serious project. Stable. Logical capable of delivering a rolling release experience that's both minimal and advanced with the solid backbone of a traditional conservative distro. Well, I fell in love. So while everyone else is going atomic, configurable, immutable, postmodern, void is simply void, and it deserves a space in our hard drive. I still wonder today how I could have never tried a distro like this, despite the positive reviews from many, when it was trendy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.